and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a little, it is a very little, but a little combination of my Jo Malone perfumes. See, I only have a little few. I always think it's quite interesting to learn about the scents, what might work for you, also what would be best for what season, and I also love memories behind it smells of perfumes and I feel like I would take you on a little journey of my collection that I do have because I thought it would be quite interesting and if you're looking for a new Jo Malone perfume I might have one that might be perfect for you. I tend to go, my scent range tends to go, I am a quite a sweet scent person, I love sweet, I love fresh but I also like woodsy. I would say the only kind of scent I kind of push the side a little is more floral scents. I tend to, I don't know, I find you, it's one of those Marmite things you either love it or you hate when it comes to floral scents and on my side, I won't say I absolutely despise it but I would say well, it's not something I would normally reach for. So my collection has quite more fresh, sweet and deep kind of tones within them. Also, can I just tell you guys how cute is this top? It says, don't worry, be happy. I'm sure it's from Primark. It's so cute, isn't it? Sorry, I went so up top of the topic there. So, I will first go with my miniatures, people might say. So, these are the 30 mils, which I believe retail for 45 £45 range. Now these are super super good if you're quite new to Jo Malone or wanting to test out a scent without having to spend £90 to £150 on trying it. I would say it's definitely definitely a really good size range for that and it lasts a decent amount of time plus as you know some more scents are more strong than others so some might take more spritzes per day, some might so much. And the first one that I have in my collection is one that I would say is my absolute fave. And it is called Blue Agave. Sorry, baby. I've just <laughs> nearly tripped over my little kitty. Do you want to come say hello to everyone? Are you saying hello to everyone? You're always wanting to say hello to everyone on here, aren't we? Yes. You're trying to get to the window, aren't you? There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Can you get to it? That's probably not the best route. Oh. Okay. She doesn't want to go my route. The um, is not as fun. She likes to go the long, windy way around. So, as I was saying, this one is Blue Agava and Kakea. As sad as this pains me to say, it is now a discontinued scent. And I didn't know this. At the time of buying it, it was probably the last times I'd be able to buy it. The first time I smelt this was when me and my best friend went to London for a little West End trip. It had, <laughs> we had the, well I would say we had the best time. I would say our coat trip was a little bit disastrous, but that's for another time and story. But we went into Selfridges and of course you have to have a little spritz when you're in Selfridges and this one really, really stood out to me as a proper summer scent. The only thing was in that particular spritz that I did have, I had a white top and it turned to make like yellow spritz all over it. I don't know why that happened. It was very, very odd. And this one really, really stood out to me. It has the most amazing, reminds me of Coca-Cola bottles, the pick and mix that you can get. It has that essence of in it. And oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. It's such a lovely feminine scent. I would say it'd be perfect for both winter and summer. But I don't want to take too much time talking about this one because... We can't get it now and I am so unbelievably sad because this is my ultimate favourite so I'm using my last little bit sparingly for really special occasions and yeah it has that spiciness of coca-cola and a little, little bit of a floral scent to it which I, I believe must be the blue agave and honestly you can get these on eBay still but for a lot of money and I'm kind of torn whether to get one or not because it still doesn't solve the problem of when that one runs out, what you're going to do, does it? 
So I've got to cut the brake clean with this one. I would say if any of you guys had this one, if you have any recommendations as to anything that smells spicy and coca cola -y, and it just reminds me of hot cocoa by the fire, oddly. If you have any scents that are similar to this, please let me know because I am on the search for one like this and I've not found one since. My next 30 mil is Blackberry and Bay. Now, I had so many, many people talk about this one. It has such a fruity, spicy cocktail of Blackberry scent to it. I would say it's a very, very long lasting one. And I would say this could be both evening and daytime wear one. Just because of the fruitiness, but also it has quite a deep tone to it at the same time. It is absolutely beautiful. I would say this would be one the bees and the wasps might be drawn to. Just a little heads up. So, I've had this one around a year. I tend to go towards it more spring, summer time. And I think it has such a lovely, lovely, long lasting scent. Which I think changes subtly through the day. It does change a little. But in the best way possible. I think it's just the warmth from your skin helps to make it more and more lets the deep notes settle in more and yeah I would say it's a very spicy but fruity scent at the same time and I think you should definitely if you're in a Jo Malone, jo Malone store, definitely check this out not only in the perfume range but I think they have it in body and the body washes and the body butters and the candles also it's definitely a very very good one if you're kind of a fruity girl definitely one to try this one I haven't had too long but compared to the others, it might just be what ingredients are in it. It's kind of got yellow. I don't know if you can tell. Well, that's more clear. This has got a bit more yellow. This could be one not to wear with white tops. Just as a side note. Maybe that's what happens a little over time. Maybe the ingredients change colour a little bit in the tube. And this is Orange Blossom. Now, Orange Blossom is also one of those that I feel you shouldn't spritz too much of. It's very, very strong. It's a very, very awakening scent. So it's beautiful, beautiful for mornings, especially early mornings. And I would say if you were to mix Orange Blossom and Blackberry and Bay, it would make an awesome combination. I actually haven't done it myself yet. I don't know how I've not tried that. It, the next scent will make more sense as what I've been mixing this with and adoring. Now, do you know these are the 100ml bottles? Now, these are the, I believe, the biggest it can go. Now, the notes within the orange blossom are clementine flower, white lilac, and oasis wood. Now, the oasis wood helps it to have a little more woody scent to it but the lilac and the clementine flower help to uplift it at the same time so it has very very multi multi-dimensional multi-dimensional scent to it so it's very very I would say it's amazing amazing scent for summer definitely for summer and if you're wanting a more uplifting fragrance it's definitely one to try and on the website this is many many um, customers favorite I think just because of its uniqueness to the tones makes it such an amazing scent and orange blossom is not something that you come around in fragrances these days I can't even think of one that comes to mind that has an orange undertone to it in the market so it's very very unique and different but I love it for that reason my last and final scent is my second top favourite to Blue Agave and that is White Jasmine and Mint as you guys may already know mint is like a stapleness of love to me it just awakens all the senses in the best way possible makes any food taste amazing makes any drink refreshing I just love love the properties that mint can make you feel it just it honestly is my happy place and the fact that they were able to incorporate in the scent makes me so 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 happy and the fact that it has white jasmine in it as well helps the mint not feel like it's knocking you back it's just like the perfect perfect partnership that you can have in a bottle it's just I could bathe in this all day and be so so happy and never be sick of it and white jasmine and mint as I was buying this 
it tended to link me to orange blossom as one that you can mix with it and the scent is unbelievable if you guys have tried white jasmine and mint with the orange blossom please let me know it is like the most uplifting scent that it feels like you're at the seaside and you're just having a breeze thrown at you in the best way possible it's truly truly a magnificent scent it's so regal but I would say it's age appropriate even I'm 22 and I believe it's an amazing amazing fragrance because of its freshness it makes you feel younger than you are but I also believe it can be for mature ages too because it's got a regalness to it from the jasmine I believe which makes it so so lovely I'm just going to check the notes within this one for you as well it's like a perfect combination of strongness freshness and delicateness really and I would say the lasting power of this is very very strong I have gotten many compliments of wearing this I would say it's one of those scents that get people to pay attention and think that's so unique what is that smell and when you say oh it's me it makes you feel so good inside really it does doesn't it and I would say it's an amazing amazing stay staying power because I know sometimes scents as soon as you put them on they like diminish like other people might smell it on you but I feel you buy the scent so you can smell it and sometimes when you can't smell it you're like oh well it doesn't make it so much as a treat does it it's like a midsummer's night dream in a bottle like the mint lifts the freshness of the jasmine together it's just the most amazing one I would say now that my blue I gave it has escaped me if I had to choose one of these that you guys should smell, it is white jasmine and mint, without a doubt, without a shadow of a doubt, definitely give this one a spritz. Now, that is all that I have in my collection, I know it's quite small, um, but I feel like it's just nice to have a little insight into other people's favourite scents, and I love watching people's um, hauls of Joe Malone scents. People have such different thoughts and different scents and I feel that is so so interesting and of course like I was saying at the beginning the memories that you have with the scents stay with you and make it special towards you so I really really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like if you'd like to know a little bit more of my perfume collection I can also do another video on that just let me know down below and also let me know what your favorite Joe Malone scent is I would love love to know and the memory behind it but why you love it as well that would also be absolutely amazing I hope you guys have a beautiful beautiful day and I'll see you in my next video bye